So let's take a few minutes and talk about the App Analyzer, available for both ClickSense Enterprise SaaS and ClickSense Business. Firstly, it's important to know where this application's roots are, as many of our customers use both our Windows platform and our cloud platform. The App Analyzer is largely a port from the App Metadata Analyzer for ClickSense Enterprise on Windows, which began shipping with the platform natively as of the September 2019 release. The primary endpoint for application metadata is the same in both platforms, which made this application a prime candidate for one of the first monitoring apps in our cloud platform. The data from this endpoint includes the following. App base RAM, peak reload RAM, table and field RAM, row counts, field cardinality, uh, the presence of data islands, synthetic keys, and circular references. It is important to recognize that these data points are gathered post-application reload and are strictly data model metrics with no UI usage or metrics. Both app base RAM and peak reload RAM are critical to monitor in Clicks Cloud platforms as they are two primary metrics that are throttled in the base tier offering. As far as when to use this application, there are four primary considerations. Tracking of app RAM size against tenant quotas, Anomaly detection for problematic apps. App optimization, typically this goes hand in hand uh, with the anomaly detection. And then data modeling, standardization, and best practices. So you're holding all of your developers accountable to certain best practices across the entire tenant. Let's go have a look at a quick demo. So now we're inside of the app analyzer that's been run on one of our demo tenants. You can see across the top all of the key KPIs, for instance, the number of apps in our tenant, the total base RAM footprint, and so on. On the left-hand side, you can see the app base RAM thresholds and the app peak reload RAM thresholds. In this tenant, it's currently two and a half gigabytes for base RAM threshold. That is going up to five gigabytes by default shortly. And for the peak reload RAM, that is going to be five gigabytes. And each one of these are set at 80% of the total. So what we're saying is flag any applications that exceed over two gigabytes in RAM and any that exceed over four gigabytes on reload. I can drill into any application at any point in time, see all of the individual fields. So for example, I can see this O comment field takes 740 um, megabytes in RAM. That might be something that I want to optimize or potentially even remove if it's not being used. I could see all of my uh, table memory footprints as well as the overall cardinality and then the, the number of, of records within each one of those tables. If I go to the following sheet, we can drill into each individual metric down to the app table or field level. And I can very easily see which applications are consuming the most RAM and which are uh, up against my quota, both from a base RAM perspective and a peak reload RAM perspective. This sheet uh, is intended to act as almost like an inventory sheet. So I can see how many applications uh, are sitting, you know, from zero to 10% quota all the way up to 90 to 100% quota. And the same for um, peak reload RAM as well as base RAM. And very easily identify what applications um, are nearing that, that quota. The app analysis page is predominantly focused around ownership. So I can see the applications and where they reside, if they're in managed spaces, uh, shared spaces, or individuals' personal spaces. And then I can very easily you know, drill down into a, a single user to see what they own and what the application metadata is as it pertains to those users' applications. And on the following sheet, this is probably the most complex sheet. This is where you're tracking trends over time. So I can track the trend of, you know, application RAM, base RAM over time. Let's say I just select these individual applications. So I could begin to anticipate. Now, keep in mind, these are relatively low. We're, we're talking, you know, 550 megabytes in, in base RAM, which is well below our threshold. But I can then extrapolate, you know, that trend and begin to potentially predict when that application might hit my tenant quota on a per app basis. I can then do the same thing for peak reload RAM, which we can see for this one application is actually significantly higher, just over three gigabytes. For total rows, total fields, which probably won't, won't change very frequently, the amount of tables, and even track the reload time uh, over time. And then in the last sheet, we just have a very brief about, uh, 
similar to what was presented in the first slide at the start of this presentation. So I hope this has been informative. Uh, please take the links that Mike will share and go out, download this app and import it into your tenant.